Hi everyone, Sarah here today for Color Rush Studios and I am playing with the Darling Sparkle and Shine kit. I love this kit. It's so soft and so pretty. I am very big on bold, bright colors, but sometimes it's just nice for a little departure with softer, like muted colors. And I do love this collection by Simple Stories that I am playing with today that is in this kit. It's gorgeous. I love all the florals. I've already fussy cut a ton of this out, which I'll use some of the pieces I fussy cut on this layout. Um, I am using just a goofy picture of my daughter. Um, one Friday after we had gotten done with schoolwork, we went ahead and went on a little walk. And this is back when it was still mostly warm outside because that is not the case anymore. Um, and she is hugging a big old bunch of leaves and she was so excited. So I just figured I would scrapbook that. Um, I just decided to do chevrons. I'm going to be honest. I saw someone's card on Instagram. I am so sorry that I don't remember who it was, but they had had, I don't even know if that's actually called chevron, but that's a, a chevron on someone's card. Uh, they had used a stencil or something and that's the part that kind of stuck with me. And so I figured I would use that for the background of this layout. Um, I love this way. I kind of got to add some cardstock and this cardstock is textured and the cardstock is from my stash. Um, but then I also got to add this beautiful pattern paper, which I was kind of hoarding because I didn't want to cut into it because it was gorgeous, but I cut into it. I'm being a big girl. <laughs> um, but I'm going to try to find that card if I can, um, that I saw on Instagram. Like I said, they used a stencil, um, on their background and that's what made me think, um, to use this for my layout. And if you saw right there, I ripped that one. I'm just kind of pushing it back together and putting it down because guess what? You're not going to see it because I'm going to put my picture over it anyways. And when I put it back down, you didn't see it anyhow. So I'm uh, roughing up the edges. I thought I was just going to do those three little pieces. Again, I was trying to hoard that blue floral paper, um, but I don't. I decide to cut another one out of the blue floral paper and out of my um, cardstock as well to go ahead and add on here. I just thought it was gonna look a little bit better. Coming further down the page, I was not big on a ton of white space. I've kind of been in that mode lately um, because for the longest time I did nothing but a ton of white space. I don't know, I guess it's just a shift. Um, I don't know if you guys are even liking it, I hope you are, but I am really liking a lot of color lately and everything like that. I like having white but I also like the bright color. And I think for the longest time that it was a big thing in the crafting world. And it may still be for some people. And that's fine. And like I said, I still do it. But to have so much white space. Because I do believe a simple layout can be beautiful and gorgeous. And I still do that sometimes. But right now, I am just really into a lot of layers and colors and bright pops and everything like that. So that's just kind of what I'm doing. Again, another thing that I love about scrapbooking is that you don't have to stick yourself in one category. You can do so many different things. You can keep it plain, simple. And when I say plain and simple, I am not insulting anybody because I have seen some of the most beautiful layouts that are just plain, simple, no mixed media added, not a bunch of hubbub, but gorgeous. And then you can turn around and you can go wild and crazy with mixed media and it's just beautiful. So I don't know. That's one thing I really love about scrapbooking is you can do so many different things with it and you can always change up what you do. So anyways, now that I've talked through most of that, I roughed up the edges while I was sticking those down. Um, I am going to use this tag, roughed up those edges as well. And I am sticking my picture to the back of this, uh, to the, t I made a flap on the top of that. Um, and I am using it to where I have a place to do my journaling. So it's not out public. Um, it's just, you know, I'm adding my journaling about our walk and my daughter being goofy and hugging the leaves and talking about the weekend and stuff like that. And so that's why I went ahead and did that. Here I'm going through the ephemera to see what else I might want to add. Um, if I want to add much more, I do add more, obviously. Um, <laughs> but I love that glitter piece. Um, that cardstock, that glitter cardstock piece that's cut out there is gorgeous. Um, and I wanted to add it, so I did. And I went ahead and added that blue moth because 
I was like, hey, it kind of matches the moss on the other side, but it's blue. Um, and I do, I fussy cut another one out and don't know why I really do that because I find another one in the ephemera. But um, I thought I was going to use that pink tab up top and I decide against it. I want to pull some of the yellow up because there is yellow on the bottom down there. Here's the pink one that I decide to fussy cut out. Um, I don't end up using it, just a heads up. Um, I added that darker pink um, little number runner down there. Uh, at least that's what I'm calling it is a number runner because it's just one through 10. It has nothing to do with the layout. It's just a dark pink and I wanted to add it. So <laughs> I went ahead and did that. Um, I had cut that little moth out of the end of that tag and I wasn't going to waste the other end. So I snipped it and stuck it underneath the big tag over there. And here are some of the florals I fussy cut out from one of the papers in the kit. These florals are gorgeous. Um, one day I just sat down, um, turned something on, and fussy cut. And that just worked for me. Um, because then I have all of these to use as ephemera. And there's still more off to the side that you cannot see right now. And they're just beautiful. So I went ahead and placed those down in a few spots. Tucked them underneath some of the little as I'm calling them chevrons, <laughs> um, there for a second, I lost my glue. And it was literally right in front of me, where I always have it. So, you know, that was fun. Anybody else do that as well? <laughs> um, so right here, I'm just going to go ahead and tack everything down. I'm adding a little bit of glue here and there, um, just to the center of the moths and the bottoms pretty much of everything because I want the dimension. I want things to be able to stick up off the card. Um, here I'm going to rough up the edges of um, this little tab that I stick over here. Just pulling some more of that yellow down there and uh, roughing this up and adding it as well. I'll add, I added some glue underneath um, that little blue tag as well. And I'm trying to figure out what else I'm going to do. You keep seeing me tap it. I'm going to, while I'm thinking, I'm going to go ahead and rough up the edges. Of these kind of roll them up a little bit so they have a little more dimension um, add a little more glue because I realized one of them was not glued down. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and what am I doing now? I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. Oh, I'm going to pull out my metallic watercolors and I am going to splash it all over my layout. Cover up my photo with my hand. I don't care if my hand gets the, the paint on it. Not a big deal. My hands are always messy with some kind of ink or paint or <laughs> something. Um... But I went ahead and did that. And now I pulled these um, out of my stash. Um, there were, There's some gorgeous foam thickers in this month's kit. But I wanted gold um, to go with that gold scallop circle up there. Um, and my title is literally just weekend. I added all the extra E's in there. And yes, I used all the E's out of that alphabet in the gold. So that should be fun trying to find other words to spell. Um, but that is it, uh, that finished this layout. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and make sure to show color rush studio some love and leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this so that you're notified when new layouts are uploaded. Thanks so much. Bye.